Mars has captured the attention of humans for thousands of years. In the 17th century, the telescope was invented, so we began examining this planet, which had been observed for the first time 4,000 years ago. Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli created the first map of Mars in 1877 using a 22cm telescope. His map is characterized by its canals which were thought to have been built by an advanced civilization living there for a long time. Percival Lowell carried out a more detailed mapping study some 15 years later. A more detailed map of Mars was published by Eugene Antoniadi in 1993. As a result of this map, it was discovered that the channels of Mars were an optical illusion. What would Mars look like if you were there? Find out by watching this video to the end. Before we start, if you enjoy tech content, consider subscribing or liking the video. These videos take a lot of time to make and only a small percentage of my viewers are subscribed. It's free and you can always change your mind. Spacecrafts were first sent to Mars by the Soviet Union, then by the United States in the 1960s. In fact, they were the kind of flyby vehicles that approached Mars and then continued on their way. Nine Soviet spacecrafts failed to reach their destination. NASA's Mariner 5 passed by Mars in 1965 and sent the first close-up images of a planet other than Mars. The Soviet Union sent a spacecraft called Mars 2 in 1971. Unfortunately, he was unable to reach his goal due to a malfunction in his computer and crashed on Mars almost exactly 47 years ago, on November 27, 1971. In spite of the crash, it was the first man-made vehicle to land on a planet other than Earth. We lost contact with his brother 14.5 seconds after he landed on Mars 3, about a month later. In 1971, the Mariner 9 spacecraft became the first to orbit another planet besides the Earth and map it systematically. On the surface of Mars, Mariner 9 encountered a massive dust storm when it first landed. Once the storm slowed down, the first thing we saw were peaks of massive volcanoes. This part of the world is called the Thoracis Plateau. Some are 20 kilometers high, some are three times as high as Everest. We haven't seen anything larger in the solar system. In 1976, Viking 1 landed on the Golden Plain region of Mars and sent a signal to Earth. It remained on Mars for more than six years before being retired. After downloading, this is the first image he posted. It is the first time we see a planet from its surface. After the Pathfinder probe landed on Mars in 1997, the spacecraft brought a small traveler with it. A six-wheeled vehicle, it was a rover. We were now circling a remote-controlled car on another planet. Although it could only go 100 meters, the rover, Sojourner and Pathfinder took 16,500 photos and made 8.5 million measurements and sent them back to Earth. In 2004, two more rovers landed on Mars. The first of these, Spirit, was designed to be operated for 90 sols, or Mars days, and only advance 600 meters during that time. Instead, he managed to keep moving for more than five years eventually being entangled by soft sand after traveling approximately 8 kilometers. As Opportunity landed on Mars three weeks after its twin sister, Spirit, in 2004, it examined the Endeavour crater and took pictures as it set off after landing on Mars. Then he headed south and found the shattered heat shields of the vehicle that had landed him. Then it continued its journey, stopping at many other large and small craters. This is the first scientific evidence that Mars once had water. 
After traveling a total of 46 kilometers, it was caught in one of Mars's famous sandstorms in June 2018. Scientists put it into deep sleep, and it will be awoken again in a few days to continue its journey. Almost every detail of Mars can be seen in the photographs taken by such rovers and spacecraft, as well as orbiting satellites. I will now take you on a tour of Olympus Mons, the highest mountain in the solar system. The area it covers is about the size of France. Such volcanic mountains are called shield volcanoes due to their convex edges. Some of the Hawaiian islands are composed of shield volcanoes. As you approach Olympus Mons, you can see traces left by the flowing lava. That area is photographed in high resolution. When you examine the surface, you can see the traces left by the flowing lava. These photos were taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which was launched into orbit around Mars in 2006. However, color information is sacrificed in such images to keep the resolution high, so it looks black and white. You can see a slightly different colored band in the middle because of a photography technique called false color is used. In those regions, spectra that cannot be seen by the human eye are recorded as well. It provides us with scientific data, especially about the structure of the Earth. Besides the traces of the lava on Mars, Martian dust can also be seen in photos. It can build up like snow and cause dust avalanches similar to those seen in areas that are snowy. When you get closer, you will see the traces of these avalanches. The blue dot you are seeing now is about the size of a bus. Martian dust solidified into a rock after the avalanche. In addition, there are steep slopes on both sides of the mountain, which is gradually higher because it has a low slope because it covers such a large area. Now, let's see what it looks like from the top. There are six calderas at the summit. These are collapsed craters about 3.5 kilometers deep. The clouds are also partially white in the photographs of this area. Another big feature of Mars are the canyons. To the east of Tharsis lies the Mariner Valley, which was named after the Mariner spacecraft that first photographed it. In other words, if you enter the canyon and walk eastward, you will come out of China. This 200 kilometer wide place is 4,000 kilometers long. These enormous structures are similar to each other in terms of structure. However, unlike other valley types, they are not the result of rivers. They are caused by geological cracks and subsidence. The photo below shows a mountain 2.5 kilometers high in the Juventae region. It looks like a multi-layered cake, but each layer was actually formed by precipitation of sulfate. Scientists think that they may also be magnesium sulfate in the area. This substance is used in medicine and beauty products. Our knowledge of the surface of Mars is increasing day by day, yet we find out last minute what's going on in the world. It is therefore only possible to continue the path of science and view Mars as a means, not an end. This is because there are still other options for life on Earth. The most important thing is to use the alternatives our world provides without wasting them and not to consume more. Therefore, we will witness this historical moment together again. Our journey into the depths of the extraterrestrial planet will begin. Do you think there was life on Mars? Let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. We cover all the latest news about the future of technology.